Well, it actually showed up a day earlier than what the shipping notice said. You'll have to excuse my uh, cat food there. Things are a little bit messy because Christmas coming up. But I got the two boxes inside. Um, let me just say it was a female uh, FedEx driver. She kind of struggled a little bit with the boxes. Um, but once I heard her trying to get the first one up my steps of my house, there's about six steps to get up to the front porch. Uh, then I was able to run outside and grab them and bring them inside. Uh, no problems bringing them in by myself. They do weigh 70 or 80 pounds a piece probably. One weighs a little bit more than the other one, but not too bad to handle. So they're in here and uh, let's get it put together. Okay, so the uh, it clearly says on one of the boxes to open box two first. You have to look to kind of find out where box two is. But box two is the thinner of the two boxes. Looks like there are some instructions. Um, looks like a power supply, a console, a few other things. So basically what I want to try to do is get this unboxed, get it laid out, and then we'll install it. So basically it has you open up the first box in order to get out the instruction manual and then have you open up the second box where you actually start to assemble everything. So uh, basically as soon as I saw the instruction manual and it said to uh, you install a few things onto this piece then take it out of the box. So you only open the first box to get the instruction manual out.
so uh, welcome to my fitness room you can see that I've got quite a bit of equipment you'll have to excuse the clutter I've got a squat rack with about 400 pounds of weights bench underneath my uh, turkeys that are out for hunting season and blind over here I've got a um, sit up bench that I actually use for other reasons I've got um, a multi-function thing the Bowflex M8 very first elliptical I ever bought um, that I used when workouts with body weight just got to be too easy so I bought it um, a rack of uh, dumbbells and what used to sit right here was a full size a full size Nordic track elliptical that come out about twice the size of the M8 and as you can see you can kind of see the floor space there where it used to sit this takes up about half the amount of room and there's barely like if I walked I can't walk between these two machines without having to turn my body sideways to keep from hitting the arms and it's the same way on this side so you could about imagine with the full-size elliptical in here that it was a uh, it was quite crowded now I am going to tell you that the elliptical I have was a Nordic track the particular Nordic track was one of their higher end models and as I was putting together this Bowflex M8 I was wondering if maybe I made a mistake um, as an example the Nordic track elliptical one of their higher end models had a heavy duty power cord like what you would use for like a guitar amplifier where the Bowflex M8 has like a cell phone charger with a different end on it um, the build quality definitely does not seem to be as good on this Bowflex M8 as the Nordic track which is kind of sad because they both cost about the same amount of money so uh, and I the Nordic track we've had for years and years like seven eight nine um, more than nine years used it practically daily so that's kind of where i'm standing right now i'm getting ready to throw my heart rate monitor on and do a workout and let's see if i still feel the same way after that workout